We will call all the land you have taken. Take the entire state rather than just cities for the best effect. Okay, there you go. So we're going to call all of this now. Oh, the manpower! 200,000 manpower! Oh, hello! Welcome! I am Feedback Gaming, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, the World War II strategy game. Today, not so World War II. Today, more about the land of the free, the home of the brave, the United States of America. Single player, new game, 1936 in the 3rd of January. Hmm. And this is Europe. It's just black. No, this isn't a German world conquest. This is the United States of America. Rainbow colored, proud and free and Canada and Mexico and a bit of Central America as well. Oh, and the Caribbean. It's all here, guys. And uh, if you're not aware, there seems to be a election happening at the moment. Oh boy, politics. Fun, right? And one little state, just one of the 50 has been misbehaving. You know which one it is. Good old purple, the state of Georgia. You are in a state, Georgia. You get the idea, right? Georgia thought it was red. Now it's blue. Will it continue to be blue? Who knows? But it's going to be purple today. And we're going to play on regular with historical on, if that makes any difference, I'm not sure. And off we go. So, what trouble can we get up to in the Deep South? We start off with two divisions. The template is pretty big, but these divisions are under strength, so I'm not sure how helpful that's going to be. We've got four research slots. Uh, we have five available civilian factories and a lot of states too. All right, okay. And the capital of Georgia is Atlanta Metro. Metro? Is that like a subway system? Lol. Okay, so we'll build some military factories right there. Yes, we're going to be going ham immediately. Uh, Research-wise, basic machine tools. We'll go for construction. Uh, we'll go for tanks. I know, right? I know. And we'll work towards radio. So you're probably thinking, wow, Dave, you're going with artillery. That's a bit different. Well, yeah, because I mean, look at all the Eastern America. Look at it. Look at it. It's all flat. Most of it. And just apart from the odd river, they're there and everywhere. For the most part, it's relatively flat. Perfect for the Yankee Blitzkrieg. Apart from when we get to the Rockies and things are a little bit messy. Oh, there's a terrain map mode. Even though it's incredibly difficult to make out where the terrain is still. These colors need to be a lot bright. Anyway, the green is the forest. Gray is the mountains. Brown is hills. You get the idea. Anyway, let's see what messy things we can get up to. We've got a military factories. We have nothing to start with. So we we'll start with a tiny bit of artillery, a tiny little bit of guns, and a bit of support equipment. Uh, great war tanks. I'll pass on those. That with fighter one. Mm, okay, that's pretty good. I think we're going to go with close air support. So that, uh, that, and then that. We have naval dot yards too. Does it even matter? Probably not. We have this two question mark ships. I'm very nervous about clicking on that because I think that might crash the game. So let's not do that. With 100 convoys, I think we'll probably just make submarines and pop those babies right there. I feel like I'm learning my American geography here. Columbus, Albany, Augusta. Come on, America. This isn't Athens. First focus is going to be after the Great Collapse. Following the recent collapse of North America, we need to find our seats among the world's nations. In order to do this, we need to have a stable basis on which we will form a new government. While we once were considered American, we will now identify with the world as Georgian. Oh, comment below your favorite Georgia. Is it the islands? Is it the country? Is it the state? Well, actually, we're a country right now. Or is it my alternative reality, alt history? And off we go. The rest of the world is this black state. War industrialist, Lucas Wilson, unnamed, no faction, has stability and war support. How the world has totally declined, and the only bastion of liberty is the rainbow states of Mexico, Canada, and the United States. Oh, what can happen? Let's find out. After the Great Collapse, follow the Georgians. And without messing around, we flip ideology immediately, but we lose a load of stability. You win some, you lose some, eh? Okay, let's change these divisions from National Guard to Basic Divisions. So we're going to go from a big, girthy battalion to a slightly less girthy battalion. And that might help us get the guns back. I realize we don't actually have an airport. Hmm. Let's build an airport directly in the center into historic... Heartland. Yes, right there. Do we have any generals? No. William Blair. Hmm. Not very American sounding. I'm on to you, Blair. Admirals, do we have any? Nope. Samuel Clement. These sound awfully British names. I'm on to you, Clements. And our leader is Edith D. Withers. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Come in the comments below, guys. Who is this person? What are they all about? Should I care? And now it doesn't matter because now we have Lewis Williams, who is a smooth talking charmer and a fortifications engineer. Apart from the anti-air construction speed, I won't be taking advantage of him, sadly. But let's take pride in our people. This gains ticking stability. Wow, that's really strong. You know, when it comes to elections, who I hate? Florida. God damn you, Florida. Spike the world tension. Tiny little bit. Now we can go for war economy. 
and now we can pump out hopefully a lot of guns and also get our air wings into the sky and exercise to level three exercise the army here i think that they all start off with two divisions right two to seven wide margin i think i'm gonna change this to the garrison brigade make loads of garrison brigades prioritize them and just keep pumping them out numbers for the win and of course disperse industry of course Tommy. oh what so it doesn't look like they've got many divisions because they would put more on their front line if they did. So that tells me I can just walk over them. The classic gaps in the front line, just walk past them. Don't fight them, just walk past them. Front line strategy. But the last time, Florida, you will not decide any more elections. You will be completely and utterly annex. All of the roller coasters and all of the oranges will be mine. And then we deploy all the divisions immediately, add them onto the front line and just have a girthy front line with loads and loads of divisions. Light tank is done, light tank two, construction two. Stay mold, boys. Justification is complete. We need at least one more division. Let's just wait for this one to train. Blow the division on the front line. Boyos, stop exercising. Air wings in the sky. Three, two, one. Off you go. Got to be very careful here. We don't do this quite right. We might get completely erect. Opportunity to encircle here. Oh, oh, I'm getting encircled myself. Tense moment of micro, guys. Can't get over the weird shaped territories in this game. You technically like can find it a lot easier to encircle on like a capital city region. All right, we got an encirclement here. Got two supply. All right, lock them in. All right, they don't have many divisions, so it's gonna snake down the country, grab all their victory points. Okay, mainland is taken. Just do the panhandle, and then we're done. Hopefully. Hey, and they're gone. The Great Floridian Junto. I knew they were up to no good. Annex. State occupation. Occupy the oranges, and we'll go local police force and garrisons. Oh, we desperately need XP right now. Let's go for military theorist. We need to modify our templates right now. These templates are god awful. From tiny army to a lot larger army. Okay, prioritize the garrisons. Light tank. Go for SPG. And then we're going to start working on light tanks. I think we don't need as much artillery as we once did. So I'll just bounce all that out. So we've gone for these focuses here, working to here. And then we can increase foreign intervention. Working down there. State of Alabama. Lovely purpley blue justification. Off you go. 13 divisions. This should be a cakewalk. Emergency Floridian conscription required. Come on, guys. Join the fight. You know you want to. I've just Googled United States famous for. And it like lists all the states. And it says... Alabama is famous for the largest pot of beans. Now that is a trophy worth pushing for, right? Short-term goal, occupy Alabama. Long-term goal, get beans. Oh my goodness, that light artillery, what is that? I've never seen that before. Beautiful. Production is looking good, working on everything just a little bit. Mobile warfare, yeah, why not? All right, justification is complete. And once again, we're just gonna push forward, just a gentle tiptoe forward, grabbing all the major cities. Oh, and it looks like a few other friends have joined this fight too. I think they were guaranteeing Alabama. Just go aggressive, push in. They literally have no divisions on their front line. So just eat it all up. I never knew the capital of Alabama was mobile. I told you guys, we're learning geography as we go here. Birmingham? Birmingham in America? Come on, guys. Come on. There's only one Birmingham. That's in the UK, which currently right now is very dark and lonely and cold. Like real life. State of Alabama. Well, no longer a state. Part of Georgia. Military industrial complex. Build them up, boys. Orlando and Atlanta sites for all those military factories. Oh, yeah. Strike force in the Caribbean Sea and the Floridian Sea. Oh, boy. The Commonwealth of Virginia. Oh, what do you know? New friends. And then we'll go convoy raiding in that area. I love the AI when it does this. It lands two divisions and it's like, yeah, we're not going to bring any more divisions over. Oh, dear. Troop transports get intercepted. Not a good day for you. What? They've got battleships. That's not fair. Taking care of this problem. And then another problem down here. Do you mind? Hey, that's cute of the AI, just leaving the back door open. Thank you, AI. The next focus we can go for is expand our borders, which gives us a free justification on South Carolina. Wouldn't actually be too bad, but I think right now we need to work on our army and have a bit of army experience would probably go a long way. So let's do that first. We've got our hands full right now, okay? I love it when the AI naval invades and then doesn't really have any way of dealing with it. It looks like Virginia has got ships to defend their convoys, but they can't actually attack my submarines because they haven't got any depth charges because they're all heavy ships. Right, let's sort out my division. So we're not going to go for this anymore. We'll go for the infantry template, this plain old boring one. And then we'll take off the engineer. Blow you, let you guys, and that division template. We'll give it the coolest, most manliest icon. The ostrich. Alabama. Conscription is calling. Extensive conscription. That is a horrendously bad cavalry division. Uh, okay, change of plan. Make a new cavalry division with a single horse 
And that will be my garrison now. That's easier. Way more convenient. If we're going to go crazy with the subs, let's just go all the way. Trade addiction. And work on that firepower. Get it sword. Get it done. Get on it. Build up Georgia. The Georgian coast gets three naval dot yards. I don't know why, but in my mind, I imagine dot yards and freighters and crates being a big deal in Georgia. Could I be completely wrong? Probably. All right, doing a naval invasion into Cuba or pushing north to try and take out these northern states that are at war with isn't going to work. So let's just sneak through North Carolina. Oh, that's South Carolina. I can't tell the difference. They're both Carolinas. Okay, here we go. And we're going to have to push through some mountains. Oof. That might be quite difficult. And they're communist. Oh, plot twist. Norman Matoon Thomas. Okay, that sounds American. All right, justification is complete. And this is a little opportunity to confuse the AI. Yes. Let's see if they take the bait. Nine divisions? Oh my God, they're sending all nine divisions. Oh my goodness, they are. You fool. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look in the mountains. Nine divisions. You fool, AI. You fool. North Carolinas make a breakthrough and they just push further south into the plains where I can pick them off more easily. Seems to be some kind of issue with their command structure. The message is not getting through. Can we jinx them again? Round two, shall we? Push back all the way back. And will they go for a second round? Oh, they're pushing southwards here. A little bit smarter move this time around. Finally go for infantry expert. Hold us hold ground a little bit. We've got the combined armies here. The Virginia and North Carolina. All right, breakthrough to the mountains. Subsidize the civilian factories in Atlanta Metro Subway. Wow, what a subway system that produces civilian factories. Meanwhile, some of our high command are, quite frankly, rubbish. No infantry leader, no attack expert. Oh my goodness, so bad. We have to go for the organization guy. Time to go ham on the artillery now. We need to break through this northern front. It's not going very far, so let's do something about it. And off we go. Now we need a division that really bites hard. And of course, we select an incredibly manly icon. The pawn. These divisions become the pawn. Let's spit out artillery and actually start hurting them. Go, go. Oh my goodness, is this going to happen? Oh my goodness. Broken it. Two divisions and we've got them back. Oh my damn. Branded. Lost in the wild. Still have two supply. I don't know how that's the case, but we'll just give them a few moments. Maybe they'll deorg. There we go. Deorged. Oh, look at this. Oh, God, that's, the, that's the tiniest territory. And it now has no troops on it. Good. Hey, this old trick. Again, the cheese is real, guys. Pawn boyos, a little bit of AA, a little bit of reconnaissance. Building up those boyos. Our little admiral, Samuel, has grown up. He's now a silent hunter expert. All those points, all the best ones. The fourth international. Where? Where? I guess it's uh, in the States, I guess. Time for the push. And another breakthrough. Can we get through? And there we go. All right. Uh, I want to close this down permanently. I just seem to be making more and more divisions. Breaking through these mountains is like a complete nightmare. Can we justify on South Carolina? With a go. Convert all the divisions to pawns. Uh, promote him to field marshal. And then get a new general. This guy now can be a logistics wizard when we've got the command power. Justification complete. There was me thinking this challenge was going to be an absolute breeze. Damn, wasn't I wrong? All the red. A little bit more red. And the counterattack. Can it be done? Y yes, maybe. Here yeah, we can. All right, go. Break in. A jolly good breakthrough near the end 60 percent 80 percent and there we go yeah we should have done that all along all mistakes were made and there's a gap in the front line so i'm going to go aggressive and just break in where's my field marshal gone go desperation comes around service by requirement what are you doing bro huh what are you doing okay army of men gives one percent recruitable okay we need that desperately because we're having a really hard time with manpower get out of here commonwealth of virginia yep get out get out I got bigger fish to fry. Oh, what's this? Nations declaring on each other. Whoa, loads of declarations. Canada is at war with Big Sky. Hmm. We have issues with the Mexican cartels. Just another day, guys. Just another day. Are they forming factions? Yes, they are. California's in a faction with Mexico. Historical game, by the way. And then also in the north, the Wars of the Lakes. The Empire of Famine. Not too optimistic there. Uh, against Ontario. All right, time to push. Let's end this once and for all. Aggressive, go, 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 go. One of the issues I've run into with this game is that I constantly am on zero manpower because none of this is cause. Fighting over the cities is actually really fun because they're all, all urban. They're all really nicely packed together. Actually, it's kind of fun. All right, we've got command power, logistics. Ooh, I think we've got for thorough planner. I love that 10% extra attack. And our main man, new leader for attack. Oh, what a good guy. An infantry leader is his natural career path. All right, well, they are 77% capitulation. Push into their capital. Would this be enough? Oh, 98%. Another victory point here. Can we grab it? There we go. Take all. It also might probably be a good idea to pop it probably for manpower. 
I don't like Puppet, though. Just listen, we all have our little flavors, how we like to play the game, okay? But my preference is not to play with puppets. I don't think they're very fun. I like to color the map my color. Georgian Empire, look how beautiful that purple is. All right, we need another army. And sadly, manpower is against us. Hmm. And we are fully mobilized. Well, kind of. I think we're about 15% recruitable. Maximum. 13. The two, and then there's the one here. Need to go civilian oversight and then build compliance and they can get manpower from there. The only solution. But they're currently at war with their neighbors as well. Maybe if we justify on them, we can snipe them really quickly. Okay, replace these with self-propelled artillery divisions. Might be an opportunity to push into here now. Maybe we can break it. Are they actually piercing our armor? Yeah, they are. Uh, let's try a different method. Let's take one of those off and add a light tank instead. Meanwhile, in North America, this. Notice the AI always goes for the puppet every single time as well. It's really hard to tell who's who, who's allied to who, and who wears who. I guess the alliances give you a bit of an idea. All right, we need some military police. We need to reduce our garrisons. Right now, our garrisons are way too big. Uh, I did get a little bit of manpower before because I dropped down to local police force, but I need to get the compliance up, so I went back up again. So, ooh, back and forth, back and forth. If I get the next compliance tick on Florida, I'll get manpower from them, but until then, never mind. Orange has taken over here and mopped all this up. All right, I have a better plan. I'm going to push in this direction now, and we need an airport right there. Goodbye, Virginia. No peace conference? All right, fair enough. Well, my northern front's covered now. Hang on, that airport looks like it literally is on the border of all the places to place it to. All right, Mississippi, justify. No faction, no justification, no guarantee. Boom. I think this should be easy. People's Republic of Mississippi has joined the American Union. American Union. Okay, these blue states. So we're going to be at war with uh, good old Texas. Oh my god, demolish them. Thank goodness. I think it's because they can't pierce us? Yes, they can. Oh my god, light tank. So strong with infantry. Who would have known? All right, next one we're going to go for is Justify on the Cajun Legion. That's a really cool name. I'll give them kudos for that. I think the mod might be bugged. I'm getting low supply here, and I actually don't know why. 168 supply, and then as it passes through here... Oh, strength! Resistance strength is actually affecting it. Well, what do you know? I didn't even know that. All right, supply sucks, but I'm just going to bash my head against them regardless air force north and south go 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 there we go breakthrough grab the victory points texas have been fighting against them for quite a while now which makes me a little bit worried because it means that they're gonna get all the victory points whoa here we go form colonial georgia okay i wasn't actually aiming for that i was aiming for the american union state see norleans and little rock uh, but for 100 political power, we can gain stability. Becomes the penal colony of Georgia. Wow. I was kind of hoping for cause. <laughs> None of these give cause. Oh, wait. No, they do give cause. We will call all the land you have taken. Take the entire state rather than just cities for the best effect. Okay. There you go. So we're going to call all of this now. Oh, the manpower. 200,000 manpower. Oh, hello. Welcome. We'll make the smaller division, then we'll upscale them. So we'll make this division back to what it wants before. We're the two seven. Make another two of those. And then we'll make an additional division. An actual proper, proper tank division with horses, because that's how I roll, right? I hate making tank divisions when I've got like barely any production. It's like so underwhelming. Alright, that'll do. And then we make eight of them. There we go. Boom. Done. Alright, emergency measures, uh, limited exports. And California, you've landed behind me. I'm a war with California? Yeah, I am. Okay. California and Texas teaming up. Who would have thought? What timeline is this? Push, push, push. Oh, like California's eating all of uh, Virginia? Yeah, they've eaten all of Virginia as well. I guess there's more opportunity for me to connect more land, I guess. All right. Supply is well and truly broken in this mod. I've maxed out the infrastructure all the way around here. And it's still showing two of eight. Oh, uh, never mind. I don't know what's going on. Naval route efficiency. What? Naval route? Oh, there you go. I'm out of the supply area. Get out. I'll let them have the bad supply. On the other front, tanks, go. Aggressive. End it. Yeah, it's doing a really strange thing. I mean, it's not really forming a front line. It's just sending the odd division forward. Okay. Northern situation secured. Now we go west. West, west, west. More tanks. Drop them off. Add them onto this guy's army. Supply problems. Not, not really surprising. And uh, push. I was only able to do this because I was getting like a huge amount of lend lease from just random nations that, oh, uh, well, they've all cancelled. Never mind. Okay. Friendship uh, does have an expiry date. Sir Lice. All right. A peace conference. A uh, bit of an unusual one. I think there's a limited amount of land that I can actually take. Is the AI actually going to give me nice borders here? Yes, it is. Okay. Beautiful. And the land that they've taken in the peace conference is now automatically given to me. 
I like it. Now we can form the American Union state. I would have always got this confused with Confederate states. Okay, gives stability and gives cause. Boom, American League of States. Oh, apparently there's a bug and I can press this button again and again and again, 20 stability every time I press it. <laughs> That's good one way of farming stability. Texas. Rip. We can now have a war goal against the People's Republic of Maryland. What the hell is that? Maryland? Maryland? Oh, it's here. Alternatively, I think uh, Tennessee looks like an easy goal. Nashville. The other thing I know about Nashville is, is where the jackass guys are from. That's all I really know. Make them all tank divisions. Have we got enough tanks for this? No, we don't. <laughs> Okay. May have slightly um, exaggerated how strong this is going to be. All right. Objective Tennessee lasts more than five seconds. They're guaranteed by Nevada and just eat them up. Gone. Bomb the Confederate States of America. The Confederate Legion of America. They're all legions. Every single one of them. Anyway, time to push further north. This one. Republic of some native Indian lands. And apparently it's a... Oh, it's apparently it's a puppet of Maryland. That's good. Two for one special. Boom. Go. Can we break them in one go? Oh my goodness, we've got so much manpower now. It's all cord. Well, in that case, suddenly got a love for artillery infantry. 35 divisions, why not? Oh, every other nation that's conquered has puppeted. So I can't actually see, I guess you can see a little bit with California and the Canadian Alliance. But you can't actually see where they've like conquered other than me with my big girthy south. Rip. All right, can we break this river here? Or do we have to go through the other problematic state, Pennsylvania? As we move with Westwood, we prospect for precious minerals. Maybe gold, maybe diamonds, maybe tungsten. Can they break the river? That is the question. Boom. Can they? Can they not? Can they? No, they can't. Oh, we tried. So the alternative to this is to go through Pennsylvania. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Boom. Go. Rip. The fall of Kansas City. Uh, not the only fall. And we're at north with all the northern states now. Good. Victory. Bulli Imperium. Rip. We coordinate the front line. Push in, boys. Three states in one go. Chew them up. Hey, supply problems for a change. Max that out. We've got so, so much civilian production right now. All right, breakthrough in the north. And we got them. Oh my god, look at the size of their faction, too. All these states have been taken. And take one by one by one. For some bizarre reason, I can't actually take Vermont and annex them. I have to satellite them. Okay. I always love this state. Delaware. I always think it sounds like a, um, a DIY store. Next. Get out. Out, out, out. Next. Damn, they've got so many divisions packed together. The Irish Liberation Front. As a British person, that name triggers me. Damn, they're really putting up a fight. Fighting to every last division. Next. I don't know what happened to all their divisions, but they're all gone anyway. Rhode Island. Oh, it's so cute. So small. I only know this state from me, myself, and Irene. How long will it last with its one division? Seconds. Next. Demolishing them. The New Hampshireite Empire. I love some of the names of the states. The People's Republic of Maine. The main man. The last man. The final man. Off you go. Which is a puppet of Brunswick. Oof. They have a lot of divisions on their front line. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That's, uh... Pretty impressive AI. How many divisions? They've actually broke me back a little bit too. Impressive. It's such an intense headbutting of the front line. And now counterattack. I think a lot of these divisions are really weak. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so they could completely walk over. Pushing more north than I would have liked, but it is what it is. I love the name of the capital. Tracer de Shelia. Yeah, that one. Now, because we've been working the autonomy down. Oh, Vermont can annex it. And now you thought this was all about America, right? Dave playing as America, doing American things? Wrong. Wrong. You were totally and utterly wrong. This was nothing to do with the United States. It was Britain all along. Bomb! The 13 colonies rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. That's right. A British guy runs this channel, okay? And, and I don't think this would be appropriate with just American things. No, 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 no. The colonies rightfully British once again, kind of, because Britain doesn't exist. It's just a black, dark shadow. The East Coast Empire. There's also the East Coast Union. The Lost Empire of Atlantia has now been founded. Impressive. Oh, no, and I can't select the 13 colonies again now. Oh, well. Go back to the Confederate States. There you go. Oof. And then the Union State. <laughs> the Confederate States. Oh, wow. Farming nations is so easy. Guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and to subscribe as always. And don't forget to hop on my Discord too. I love you. See you soon, guys. Thank you for your support. Every single Patreon supporter helps me hire editors to make more content for you. Thank you.